Do you ever wonder if you're actually studying code the correct way? Do you ever wonder if you're spending way too much time on this particular programming language? Or how did I study code in a way that got me a job in just three months? I'll talk about that right after this intro. What is up YouTube? It is good to see everyone again. Man, it is a good week. Now you're probably wondering, what is the correct way to study code? And that's what I wanna talk about today. Um, now, if you know me, if you've been following my channel for a while, if you're new to this channel, something you should know about me is that I did become a developer in three months. I learned code in three months. I taught myself code, enough code, sufficient enough to get a job and become a web developer, front-end software engineer. Now, I wasn't the best one, but I was able to learn enough in a way that got me the job that I have now, right, and which I'm still at. I, and I think this is something that's very important to talk about because I am very sure that a lot of people are wondering, am I studying code the correct way? And why do I think this? And why did I think of this video? It's because I even remember when I studied code, when I learned Treehouse, was I learning code the correct way? What am I doing wrong? Why am I not able to retain everything? That's what I wanna talk about now. The main thing that you need to do that when you study code is that you have to actually practice what you learn like right away or at least within the next day or within that week and that is how you retain it if you're anything like me when i learned code and even nowadays if i don't apply this practice i would study code at treehouse i would go from one track to another i'll go from one course to another for example i go through the html course i go right through that and what happens is that and then once i finish that entire front end development track i don't remember anything why is that it's because i didn't practice anything i did so one suggestion that i made when you learn a specific something like say a function or if you learn how to use a specific specific element or how to apply some CSS to a div to a body to make it mobile friendly or how do you you know to apply it to inline block or how to do media queries or how to do functions you know on JavaScript clicks um, when you do things based on hover or when you do things based on you know if they hit the inner key the space bar, whatever it is right if you do any of these things you have to learn to practice that right away and apply that to your own personal site ASAP and that is how you learn and so I'm gonna show you how I do that um, right now I didn't even know this as you know I'm someone who is an advocate for react how react will change many lives uh, uh, for example congrats to a homie of mine um, he got a job after 14 months to become a front-end developer front-end software engineer um, he got a job working with ASP.NET with react and he's making bank now he told me last week that he literally doubled his salary from his previous job he left his job to become an intern getting paid nothing for 14 months he hustled and now he has a professional job making bank 14 months of studying code, self-taught, even though when he had the, the many reasons in the world to give up, he didn't give up because he knew what he wanted. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now, guys, that you can do it and how you can study code in a way to get your job right away and help you grasp the language. So hopefully this helps out. Let's get into this. Let's go into my computer right now. Here we go. This is my computer. Let's get into that screen. All right, Devs Life family, what's up? Now we are here right now. We are actually in my um, my text editor. I am using Coda 2. Again, I will make a video on this right now that this is the text editor that all programmers need today if you use a MacBook or a Apple device, computer, whatever it is. I am working with Treehouse. I am not sponsored by them. Some people think I'm sponsored. I am not sponsored by Team Treehouse. I am just a very strong advocate for them because I believe in what they're teaching. I'm actually able to download their videos, which is pretty cool, which is useful for me because from what I've noticed, downloading the videos, the videos are actually higher quality and I'm able to read the text editor even that much easier. And so right now, um, let me put the volume up really quick. Um, I am learning the React course on the website. For example. Now, let's get into coding. Ooh, that's loud. To get us started, I've prepared some basic so, uh, when developing I'm going through all the videos. So we just it, gave her you know the videos right now. Uh, I'm looking through the courses. So this is what I'm learning at Treehouse right now. At Treehouse, what I'm doing is that I'm learning so on how. Uh, it's not even showing it. I'm learning how to make this, this thing. The, what this is is a scoreboard and how I'm trying to create this in React. And I've learned quite a few things and it's pretty amazing to be honest. Um, so this is, I'm using Coda 2, and pretty much is what I have so far. So this is what the cool thing about Coda 2 is that you can actually open up and all your browser within the text editor, which is insane. And this is what I'm making right now. 
right? I made the scoreboard. It's Chris Sean, Taylor Sean, Sarcy Sean, Mom Sean. <laughs> and this is the scoreboard that I'm making right now. Now, it's not fully interactive. This is just static. And so I'm not collecting any data yet. I'm not, this isn't based on clicks where it increases the value, this counter, or it doesn't decrease it. You could do this very easy in Vue.js too, but I'm doing learning React. And this is amazing. Now, look at this, man. This is my index.html file. That is it. What the heck? How am I able to do all of this and, and, and create this scoreboard with this? Yeah, so that's pretty crazy. Like, imagine, I, like this is my text editor. And, and, and what's even crazy, look at this. Even when I expect this, I don't even see this DOM at all. I just, like this part of the DOM, all I see is a body, a div, and a script. It's not showing anything. Why is that? Because React is that cool. Um, and so to be able to view this in the DOM, you have to use Chrome and use a React app and then you can finally see it, but it's pretty cool. And I think that's pretty legit. And so this is what I'm making right now. Now, this is what I made and this is my React. I'm, we're using JSX, Babel to convert all this into JavaScript and everything is pretty cool. And so this code right here is what I use to create this. Create an array with four different objects inside. You know, here's Krishan, Krishan. Here's 50, right, 50. Boom, 50. And what's pretty cool is that I could just literally change this. For example, Mom Sean, she has 100 points, right? That's her score. Let's change that to 300. And literally, you update it here, boom, that's it there. And you could do this in JavaScript. I know how to do this in JavaScript or in jQuery. It's fairly easy to do, but it takes a lot more time to do, to be honest, man. I mean, I've worked on things that do this, and, and this is so much more easier to do than in plain JavaScript, and I love it. And so what I do on here in, in React is I create instances and functions that push it into these divs. And so, for example, I'm pulling this container, this div container right here, and what I'm doing is in that container right here, this is the container I'm calling that class, I'm pushing, I'm rendering, Everything in here is being rendered into this application. I'm not too familiar with all the terms yet. And so within this application, this collects all the data, makes sure that the data is required, um, the data to call. And what's really cool about React is I can literally write in here like I'm writing in, on the DOM itself on here of in the index HTML, but I don't have to do that. And so what I'm gonna do right now is that what I'm doing here, I want to actually apply to my own personal thing on the side. I wanna make, sure, make a basic website. So I'm showing you what to do. If you get bored, I'm sorry, guys. Um, this is totally different. I'm doing this literally way early in the morning before work and upload it at home before I get into the office today. So the same day upload early in the morning project for you guys. And I don't know React that well yet. And so what I want to do is that I want to create my own thing. I actually don't know exactly what I'm going to do because I'm literally doing this on the spot for you guys. I actually, what I want to do is that I want to, I don't want to use any of the CSS that I have on here. Uh, let's remove this really quick. Boom. Remove that CSS and look how it looks. It looks pretty ugly. <laughs> okay, boom. So this is what it looks like right now and I want to do my own thing. So I want to go ahead. So I'm going to apply pretty much what I know. So this is called header class name and within that I want to put a title. So my title is scoreboard. So I want to change that title to real Chris Sean right here, right? Real Christian right here, that's the div. And that's pretty much like what you do with mustaches, etc. It's kind of cool. And so this is it. Now I want to go ahead and create my own title. And this is my header H1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to style everything up in here for you guys. So it's just easier to see. Just show you an example of what I do. So if it's called header, I want the background, first of all, let's say let's make it black. Boom, uh, I want the color, the font color to be, actually let's keep it white. Mm, now let's just do that. Just to show you exactly what I'm doing. It's not all about styling it, but I want to do this really quick. Color, white, um, and I want to center everything. Boom, real Krishan. Now the font is ugly, but that's totally fine. All right, so I'm here. I've created the title, real Krishan. And on here, I want to do some other stuff. For example, in the header, I want to create, say, I want to create a nav bar now. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a, how am I gonna create a nav bar? List item, I'm gonna use then, I order the list. All right, no, actually no, I'm gonna use divs. So this, I'm gonna create a nav bar really quick. Um, here using React. Now I've only learned the basics, so guys, be nice. So within this div, mm, no, I'll do it the other way. You all, you all, okay. Um, I want to write a list item with a list item of, um, um, I want to create a home. Let's save that. There you go. 
Uh, I want to create something called uh, what's next about me. There's that um, right about me. Oh, cause it didn't close it. There you go. Uh, there's about me. There you go. What else? Contact me. Now, uh, what I can do is I'm doing it all through React. I'm using HTML from the DOM, and I'm using, I believe, Babel or JSX to translate everything to JavaScript too. So here you go, and I'll create a list item, of course. Uh, index .h HTML. Here we go. And now this is actual. Let's click save. Oh, because I don't have a closing tab. Duh. Okay. My bad. Here we go. And it's pretty sick, man. I mean, I, I really like how this all works. So, this is what I'm doing right now. This, let's just say this is my drop down. It's very simple. And I'm, I'm applying it anywhere I want. But this is how I honestly study code. This is what I'm doing is that I. And then here's my drop down. And it's centered. And you know what, let's do some, I wanna add some padding to that. Uh, let's refresh this. Um, I don't like that, I don't like that there's no space there. So, within the header, you know, this is getting a little big now. Um, let's add a little padding, let's add just 10 pixels. So I'm still facing the side. Okay, let's add five pixels to the top, zero to the side, 10 pixels to the bottom, zero to the side. Oh, okay, let's add 20 to the bottom. There you go, it looks better to me. Um, and actually add some margins so that Krishan isn't just right under it. Margin, um, bottom, 10 pixels. There you go, that's better. So this is it. This would be like my drop down, you could say. And so what I'm doing right now is just learning how to apply things to the DOM. And now what I'm doing is I'm actually collecting data and I'm pushing data. And so I don't necessarily need this function adding and subtracting. Um, and so I'm gonna literally just there you go. So now I have the names here. And so what I want to be able to do is that I want to style the body now. So this is the header and I want to style the body to be, let's say I want it to be, and this is just me. I, I, I want it to look better. Let's make it lighter. Okay, let's do this. That's better. Okay, so this is what I have right now. And now what I want to do is I want to add things to the body. So I have no idea what it is I'm doing. But the thing is though, by doing this, what I am doing is that I'm actually learning how to work around React. And I, I, I don't remember everything that I've done. I did this actually yesterday um, morning. But it looks like here with Krishan, I'm using this data. It looks like I'm calling the player, um, I'm calling the players array and within that I'm calling the objects and so what how am I doing that I'm actually doing that um, right here right so prototypes this should actually be indented uh, what I'm doing is that within the players re uh, array I'm calling the shape meaning everything within this array the the name the score the ID oh I don't even have an ID here that's bad ID 3 and this is ID 4 Thing. I caught that. Uh, I'm calling the name score ID. And so what I want to be able to do is I want to call be able to call this within somewhere else. So for example, you could see here, if I remove this, the name will be gone. And so that's really important. For example, if I want to call, let's say the ID, I'll literally just do this props. It's actually not an ID. I, I named that ID to be something else. I named the ID to be um, a key. What, what did I put a key on here? Here we go. Oh no, I, okay, never mind. Dang, see, this is how I'm learning. Props mm, ID. And if I click save, oh, it's not popping up. Is it key? But the ID is not popping up, huh? That's something you have to learn. learn. Okay, anyway, let's just add something here really quick. Let's add size. Okay, my mom's size is small. I'm not good. That's all I'm gonna say. It's small. And so this is what I'm doing to learn, guys. Uh, and this is ex literally exactly what I do. Uh, Sarsi, Sean, let's call it um, medium index. Is that called index here or key uh, or value, whatever it is? Um, the thing is, though, I need to actually add this on here now. So, name. So, this is, here's a size. So, I'm just gonna copy this. Save space or save time. Since I'm literally doing this live pretty much, um, is it size? Yes, yeah, size. Boom. Okay, so now I'm able to pull the size. 
so let's go ahead and I've never done this actually so this is kind of cool I'm, I'm really cool I get to even do this pretty much in front of you guys so let's call it the props name and props size why is it not working see this is how you learn though I mean because I'm honestly oh right here the okay um size equals player size there you go oh my gosh okay so this is what i'm talking about man like i i have no experience in react at all and i'm learning how to do it through this meaning i'm creating something on the side even though it's this simple what i'm doing is i'm learning how to manipulate the javascript and the dom at the same time to do what i want now uh, size let's say one Oh, it doesn't work like that. You back to do that here. Hold the first key. Whoa, first letter. Wait, what? What is this? This is cool. Okay. Um, that's interesting. That's actually pretty cool. So, what I'm doing is I'm calling the sizes for for each um object within the array, which is kind of cool. So, what I want to try to do is do this. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I still need to learn. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but pretty much what I'm doing is everything I'm learning, I've learned thus far, I'm trying to put it together. I know I didn't get that much that far, and, I, and I'm probably gonna get ridiculed right now for the code that I'm showing right now, but this is pretty much what I'm doing. I don't know React that well yet, but I'm learning the basics, and I'm learning how to work with everything, and I'm excited, man, and I, I know this video's really long, and I'm gonna try to cut it up short as much as I can, but yeah, man, um, let's go back to me really quick. All right, guys, so I hope that made some sense. I, I mean, also, I could have done something very easy with HTML or CSS, which I probably should have done, or even JavaScript, plain vanilla JavaScript, to show you exactly how it is that I learned to apply code that I learned um, but I literally just started learning react yesterday and as much as I've been talking about it I've been learning Vue.js because that's what we do on my job I figured I show you something that I'm trying to learn and what is it I do and it takes time I this video took 25 minutes to shoot and I probably I'm gonna try to bring, bring it down to 15 minutes hopefully um, and I should be able to but that's literally how I learn code and that's the correct way to do it is that when you learn something when you go to school yes you make a project and that's why school is so good because you learn all these things in classes but what does school do they give you a project to work on on your own and that is also what a like about treehouse is that when you're on a tech degree program not necessarily in a regular membership a treehouse you go through the tracks to give you a, a very simple quiz at the end of every track I don't think that's necessarily enough to teach you enough and so you have to take things into your own hands unless you're doing the tech degree program where they give you a full-on project to do something with that code which is insane um, that's very beneficial but if you're not on a tech degree program and you're in a cheaper program where it's 50 bucks a month $25 a month um, like what I did for so long what I had to do is challenge myself this way because well, what I learned, I put it on the side and I create something into it, my portfolio and that's what I did to learn code. I hope that helps you out. That is the correct way to study code is that what you do is that what you learn, you apply right away. You make sure to apply that to something on the side, even if something as simple as this, which is very basic compared to what I'm able to do now. But when you learn a new language, you're starting from the bottom, you cannot expect yourself to be able to create something amazing right away. That takes time, but you will get there. I hope this helped you guys out. I need to edit it now before I get to work. So thank you all for watching. I love you all. This is Krishan. This is Life of a Developer. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.